Hey everyone, I've been saying that rather than wasting time overthinking too much about nifty levels, this falling market has created an opportunity to research and identify great stocks that can generate multi-bagger returns. Hence, today I want to discuss the fundamentals of one such company that checks all the parameters of a multi-bagger stock. In fact, I wanted to discuss the fundamental of this company for a long time. But this company has always traded at very high valuation due to its bright growth prospect. But now the stock has fallen more than 40%, so I thought it is the right time to discuss the business of this company. Okay, let me give you a hint. This company is one of the leading manufacturers of electronic equipments in India and currently hold a market cap of somewhere around 20,000 crore rupees. Some of its clients include Samsung, Xiaomi, OnePlus, Philips, Havels, etc. This company had its IPO in 2017 and within 5 years, the share price of this company had jumped 17 times. Although in recent correction, the stock tanked more than 40%. Still, the share price is up nearly 10 times from its IPO price. Can you guess the name? Well, I am talking about Dixon Technologies. Although I have already discussed about Dixon Technology in my previous videos, I never covered the detailed analysis of this company. So in this video, we will discuss the business model of Dixon Technology, its leadership, key strength, future growth prospect, key risk and competitors, and then we will cover the financials of the company. Finally, we will conclude if it is worth accumulating this stock at current levels or not. If you want to learn more about stock fundamental analysis, you can explore my online course. Alright, let's get started. Established in 1993, Dixon Technology started its journey with manufacturing of color TV in 1994. Since then, it has expanded its manufacturing in many electronics and lighting products under its portfolio including LED TV, mobile phone, washing machine, LED lights, set-top boxes, medical equipment, CCTV camera, as well as wearable devices. Dixon Technology is one of the largest manufacturer of TV sets in India with a strong set of renowned brands like Samsung, Panasonic, Xiaomi, TCL, OnePlus, Flipkart, Lloyd, etc. Some of its clients in lighting product category include Philips, Havel, Siska, Bajaj, Wipro, Orient, etc. Again, all top lighting brands are client of Dixon. It is also the leading contract manufacturer of semi-automatic washing machine for clients like Godrej, Samsung, Lloyd, Panasonic. Dixon provides a one-stop solution for its client requirement right from R&D to manufacture the best product for the local market to sourcing the raw material to design the product to manufacturing and assembly to testing. This end-to-end -end capability with backward integration is the biggest strength of the company that gives Dixon an edge over the competitors. The company operates on two models, original equipment manufacturer that is OEM and original design manufacturer that is ODM. Within OEM model, Dixon acts as an executioner where they simply assemble the products based on the customer specification. In ODM model, Dixon will produce the product from the scratch including the design and the selection of raw material using its in-house R&D. Hence, there is higher operating margin in ODM model. Now let us look at each category within its business. So first category is consumer electronics. Within consumer electronics, Dixon offers a wide range of products as original equipment manufacturer and original design manufacturer designing smart TVs and ultra high definition TVs. Dixon has capacity to manufacture 4.4 million LED TV every year. Then second category is lighting solution. Dixon Technologies is one of the top global manufacturer of indoor lighting and LED bulbs. They have expanded their product offering to include main electronic board designing, mechanical and light source and package designing. Dixon has capacity to manufacture 300 million LED lights every year. Then third category is home appliance. Dixon Technology manufacture semi-automatic washing machine and has recently started manufacturing fully automated washing machine. It has capacity to manufacture 1.2 million washing machine every year. Then fourth category is mobile phones and EMS. Dixon Technology manufactures smartphones and has capacity to manufacture 45 million mobile phones every year. Dixon has also forayed into other product categories like set-top box, medical equipment as well as wearable devices. Then fifth category is security system. Dixon manufactures CCTV camera and digital video recorder with capacity to manufacture 8.4 million CCTV and 1.8 million DVRs. Dixon also provides repair and refurbishment services for products including set-top box, 
मोबाइल फोन्स एल सी डी एंड एल ई डी टी वी एल ई डी पैनल्स करेंसी काउंटिंग मशीन एंड पी ओ एस टर्मिनल्स ना इफ यू लुक एट द रेवेन्यू ब्रेकअप बाई कैटेगरी फॉर एफ आई ट्वेंटी टू कंज्यूमर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स अकाउंटेड फॉर फोर्टी एट परसेंट ऑफ इट्स बिजनेस लाइटिंग प्रोडक्ट अकाउंटेड फॉर ट्वेल्व परसेंट ऑफ द बिजनेस होम अप्लायंस अकाउंटेड फॉर सेवन परसेंट मोबाइल फोन अकाउंटेड फॉर ट्वेंटी नाइन परसेंट Here, mobile phone is one of the fastest growing segment in the business. Now, if you look at the breakup in terms of operating profit for FY22, consumer electronics accounted for 33 percent, lighting products accounted for 18 percent, home appliances accounted for 14 percent, mobile phone accounted for 26 percent, and security system contributed 4 percent in the operating margin. Now, Dixon Technology has 17 manufacturing facility located in UP, Uttarakhand, and Andhra Pradesh, with three R&D centers in India and China. Now, let us look at the leadership of the company. Mr. Sunil Bachani is the founder and chairman of Dixon Technology. He is a second-generation entrepreneur with 29 years of experience in electronic manufacturing. His father started manufacturing TVs for brand called Western, that was a market leader during the era of black and white TV. Mr. Sunil Vachani completed his graduation from American College in London and returned to India to engage in the family business. He soon realized the huge potential in electronics outsourcing business and started manufacturing color TVs. Today, under his leadership, Dixon has grown to become one of the leading electronic manufacturer in India. So overall, the leadership of Dixon is well experienced and competent. Hence, on the company and its leadership, I would rate it 10 on 10. As per reports, in an EMS market, that is electronics manufacturing system market size was approximately $6 billion in FY20 and expected to touch $40 billion by 2025 at a CAGR of 47%. Indian electronics industry is in a sweet spot due to government initiatives like Make in India, Atmanirbhar Bharat and PLI scheme. On top of this, every global company is now looking to de-risk the global supply chain with China plus one strategy. Indian government has also rationalized the import tariff structure to promote domestic companies. Moreover, government is also investing in setting up semiconductor manufacturing ecosystem in India. Due to all these factors, India has already seen a good amount of investment from both domestic and international companies to scale up manufacturing and a lot more capex is expected over the next 3 to 5 years. Moreover, India has a huge market of 140 crore people and currently there is very low penetration of consumer durables. But factors like rising per capita income, higher disposable income, penetration of mobile phone across your urban, semi-urban and rural region have opened opportunity for doorstop deliveries of goods and services that requires usage of electronic products. That makes India a very lucrative market for both global and domestic companies. On top of this, we have the low-cost manpower for manufacturing electronic products in India. So all these factors would result in huge growth in electronics manufacturing ecosystem. To capture this fast-growing electronics market, Dixon is on aggressive growth plans. Last year, Dixon invested Rs 600 crore to build new facility under PLI scheme to build new capacity in mobile devices, laptops and tablets, telecom equipment and LED component to cater to the domestic and global market this year. Few months ago, Dixon announced investment of Rs 300 crore to expand its base in Punjab. Recently, it has also announced its joint venture with the Japanese company Rexam for manufacturing of printed circuit boards for air conditioner for domestic and international market under the PLI scheme. Dixon has also entered into a joint venture with Imagine Marketing that manufactures wireless audio solution under the brand name Boat. In one of the recent interview, Dixon MD and Vice Chairman Mr. Atul Lal mentioned that Dixon is planning a capex of somewhere around 400 to 500 crore in FR23 and they expect the revenue on the tune of 17,000 crore to 17,500 crore. In FR22, Dixon revenue stood at around 10,700 crore. So that means company is expecting a growth of 60 to 65 percent in its revenue for FI23. Overall in future growth, I would rate it 10 on 10. Although the future growth prospects of Dixon Technology are great, in the short term there are a few challenges that could hinder the high growth of Dixon Technology. For example, there are still challenges related to supply chain, semiconductor and chips and the commodity prices are still high. Although the commodity prices have started to fall, but in the near term, it may impact Dixon profitability. 
Then once the PLI incentive scheme is discontinued, which is for initial five years, the cost competitiveness of EMS players like Dixon will be tested against global manufacturer. China is still the largest manufacturer of electronics in the world and it won't be easy for a company like Dixon to compete with China at price point. As far as various brokers house views are concerned, recently Morgan Stanley has given an underweight rating on Dixon Technology with a target price of 2634 rupee. That's nearly 25% below its current market price. Although majority of brokerage houses are overweight on Dixon. Credit Suey has upgraded Dixon Technology share price to outperform from neutral with a target price of 4,800. That's around 35% upside potential. Then Jefferies has maintained a buy with target of 5,300. That's nearly 50% upside potential from current levels. Now let us look at the financials of Dixon Technology. If you look at the revenues of the company, revenues have grown from 572 crore in March 12 to levels of 10,697 crore by FY22. Look at this consistent growth in the revenues of the company. Year on year, the revenues have grown at a very good rate. And over the last 10 years, the CGR rate in revenue growth is 34%, which is brilliant. If you look at the profitability of the company, profits have grown from minus 7 crore in March 12 to 190 crore by March 22. Again, year on year, there's a growth in profits. So it has been a great performance, both in terms of revenue and profit growth. The CGR growth is 40%. Hence, on revenue and profit growth, I would rate it 10 on 10. Next, if you look at the profitability of the company, the operating margin of Dixon Technology are on the lower side. So if you look at it, it was in fact 1% then jumped to 3%, 2%. But over the last few years, the profitability has increased from 4% to 5%. Although it has fallen down to levels of 4% again in FR22. Now the reason being that for a company which is into the manufacturing of electric goods, the margins are very low. So these are the industry standard and Dixon has been able to maintain these margins and hopefully going forward, it is able to continue these kind of margin. Next, if you look at the ROE and ROC, which is very important parameter, look at this increase in ROE and ROCE. And since last five, six years, consistently both ROE and ROCE are well about 20%. So if you look at ROE, it was 24% then 1916. But if you look at last three years, well about 20%. Even ROCE is 28, 23 and uh, it jumped to 31, but then there's a slight fall, but both ROE and ROC are well about 20%. Hence, if you look at the profitability, I would rate it 9 on 10. Next, if you look at the debt to equity, the debt levels of the company have fallen down significantly. It was 2.16, then fell down to 1.57, and currently it is at lowest 0.47. So debt is well under control. Hence, on debt to equity, I would rate it 9 on 10. Now, if you look at the reserves of the company, its reserves have grown from 52 crore in FI12 to levels of 985 crore by FI22. It has been an exponential growth in the reserves of the company. Now, let us look at the share price movement of Dixon Technology. So, currently it is at trading at levels of 3546 rupee. And if you look at the overall historical movement at the time of IPO during 2017, it was at levels of 350. Although it was at levels of 1700 plus, but then it split its stock into 1 is to 5. And due to that, if you consider that, the stock was at levels of around 350. And since then, it has made a high of 6243. So there has been a jump of nearly 17, 18 times. But there is a correction. So it was this point. And since then, there is almost 43% correction. And the share price is still 10 times higher than the IPO price. So it has been a multi-bagger in the past. And I expect that this share is going to be a multi-bagger in the future as well. Now, if you ask what is the reason for fall of 43% in its share price? So the reason has been valuation. At the peak, it commanded a PE ratio of 180. It was that expensive. And even after correction, if you see more than 40% correction, it is still trading at a PE ratio of 110. So if you look at the valuation, of course, the valuations are not cheap. But try to understand this, Dixon is one stock that you won't find in the P ratio of 2030. It is a growth stock. As we discussed the revenue growth, the management has given a guideline of nearly 60, 65% growth in the revenue in FI23. So the growth prospects are very, very bright. And that is the reason people are willing to pay a premium for Dixon share. Now at this point in time, if you ask me, this is a good point to make an entry since the stock has fallen quite a lot, but I 
expect that there can be further correction in the share price although there's no guarantee but since there is a slowdown in the economy there can be further corrections and if there's any further fall in the share price it is going to be a buy opportunity so any correction in the share price of Dixon technology from current levels is only going to create a buy opportunity because in the short term there could be some ups and downs but the long term growth prospects of company are looking very very bright now if you look at the share holding pattern promoter share holding has slightly reduced from 38.92% to levels of 34.3% and if you look at the FIS they have constantly increased the share holding from 7.23% to as high as 20.3% but since last few quarters there has been slight fall in the share holding of FII and if you look at the DIS their share holding has actually declined from 22.38% to levels of uh, as low as 7.6% but in last quarter DIs have actually increased the share holding to 7.98%. So in this video we discuss the fundamentals of Dixon technology. It has come a long way from making TVs as an OEM player to leading the make in India electronic manufacturing story as an end to end solution provider for the world's major brands. And it is constantly expanding its product portfolio and adding new and innovative products to further strengthen its foothold in the market. Electronics manufacturing has a very bright growth prospect both in India and globally. Especially India has a huge population with growing demand for electronic products. And even the Indian government is supporting the manufacturing ecosystem in India. So Dixon would benefit from government PLI scheme, Make in India and Atmanirbhar Bharat initiative. Then global players are looking to de-risk the global supply chain with China plus one strategy. All these factors would boost the growth for Dixon technology in the future. Although in the near term there could be some impact of global slowdown and supply chain issues along with higher commodity prices. But the long term growth prospect of Dixon are intact. Hence it is a good time to invest and systematically add Dixon technology over the next 6 to 12 months. So what is your viewpoint on Dixon technology? Have you invested in Dixon technology? Let me know in the comments. Also let me know which companies you want me to cover next. I'll see you next video. Till then take care.